So while I was in the charity shop, every time that I was trying to look at what, mate, can you not do that? I'm trying to do a video. Every time I was trying to find a, no. And what have you done that for? How am I supposed to clean that up now? Oh, oh you, you gotta that. give him that hook too and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> It's about to be a cloudy day today. Shame, because that is beautiful. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, hold on a minute. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, but I've been having too much fun with this desk. So by now you would have seen the video of me receiving it and building it, etc, etc. It's been a couple of days now and I'm really enjoying the desk. I think it's fantastic. As mentioned, I don't get any kickback if you go out there and buy one, but I think they're totally worth it. They've got a massive deal on at the moment. I didn't mention the deal in the last one because I felt that was like too pushy and silly. And I don't have to sell you the table. They literally said, review it. Review it. And if it's shit, I did say to them in the email, if it's crap, I'm going to tell you it's crap. I think you can buy the one that I've got now in a smaller size, and everybody needs this size, for like 240 quid, I think. Don't quote me, I'm not a flexi spot salesman. I think this size and this thing without the sale is like 599. In the sale, I think it's 399. I don't know, gonna look at gonna look at the website, the links in my previous video, or just type in flexi spot on Google. But um, yeah, really, really enjoying it. It's a good workspace. It's changed everything. You don't care, do you? So, as always, we're going to dive straight into some sales. Get some bits out of the way. I've had some corking, corking, corking sales. I've got a funny one as well. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Just get to the ones we've got. I've still got to pack the Baco stuff and the Ikea clock. I can do that now. I've got my cardboard. But that's just sat on the side until, until we did it. Well, hey, we sold the first set then. <laughs> set one, which is probably going to be... Oh, the back here is, yeah. Oh. Yeah. There we go. List them and they will go. Set one, which is this one. Got one sticker on it. Sold for, I listed them for $19.99. They've taken full advantage of my coupon code and they have sold for $17.99 free postage. Be about six quid to post it. After everything, I make about six, seven quid myself. They don't owe me anything and I want them gone. I could have held out for more. I could have pushed more. I could have even added shipping. Don't want to. I'll need them gone. Five pound paid on this Homer donut maker, I think it is. No, toasted sandwich maker from 2006. Five pound paid, sold for 27 pound plus postage for a grand total of 30 pounds and 99 pence. Lovely jubbly. Oh, they've sold. Sweet. The Waylux weights that we picked up and photographed together are paid £2.75 in the charity shop for these. These have sold for £16.59 all in. There's a kilo of weights there, which means I already know once I've packaged it, it's going to put it over a kilo. So it's going to be a one to two kilo brackets. Over to Vinted now. Dad's Army sold for £2.50. I paid £2, realised it was an absolute fail and thought I'm going to make 50 pence off that regardless. So I put it on Vinted for £2.50 and it's sold. Beautiful. I've still got my printer set up behind me for the time being until I get everything sorted out. Thank you. Print the vintage ones while I'm talking to you. Dad's A. I'm going to put Dad's Army because Dad's A is a bit sus. Okay. Ah, there we go. The 50p Gallinus. Shit, what box was it in? So for three pound on Vinted is the, is it Gallimus? Gallimimus, a Gallimimus. <laughs> what fucking name is that? Uh, it's a raver. <laughs> so for three pounds, paid 50 pence. It's good business. They all add up, all those things add up, man. Come on. Um, Mario Kart, paid one pound, sold it for six pound. Good business. Only brought it the other day. All these things add up, baby. And then you can make room for the big sales, which are here in a minute. Uh, I think that's all the orders I've got on there. Yeah. All right, that's Vinted and eBay done. Now let's move on to some PSs. PSs? Private sales. Sales outside of the platform, which takes fees off of us. All of this is still declared. It goes into my bank account, so everything is shown. I have to pay tax at the end of every sale. First hat. <coughs> 
First one of the caps to go. Max saw my video and took a screenshot and zoomed in and said, how much for that one? And to be fair, he's picked one of the very good hats. Look at that, double whammy snapper on the back. Really nice embroidery, fantastic condition for the age. I believe this one to be 80s, late 80s, early 90s, I believe this one is. We've got a nice little bargain there. Max has paid a £15 free postage, which if I do the maths correctly after posting, gives me around about 20% of my investment back on the whole bundle. So I've only got to do that four more times and I'm even. Max, really appreciate you, mate. I'm not going to try and pronounce your Instagram name, but I'm going to give you a shout out up here. It's got some cool bits on there. I've had a little browse in his profile yesterday. Let me try and say it. I'm going to try and say his name. Naupaco or Naupaco. Bit risky, that one, isn't it? Max, massively appreciate you, mate. That's on its way to you shortly. And next up, which I know is going to upset quite a lot of you, unfortunately, is the Tottenham t-shirt that I picked up from the car boot sale two days ago. No, yesterday. Was it yesterday? What day is it today? Tuesday. Two days ago. I don't even know where I am. It's in really, 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 really good condition. I'd say somebody wore this once, twice, three times and then put it in the wardrobe. A couple of like little cotton pulls on it at the bottom. I wouldn't even call them snags. They're just like piling. £3.50 I paid for this. And as I said yesterday on Instagram, I made it up on the spot. It's very gross. My fam from another ham. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky purchased this. Some of you might know him as Top Clobber over on Whatnot or Ricky Devaney on Instagram. Both are going to be up on the screen now. He had an option. He proposed, we both love poker. All right. We both used to have a lot of gambling back in the day. We'd gamble with each other over everything. And he proposed. He said, how about I'll give you £80 or £100 on a coin flip? I just replied saying, heads. Then he went into some big thing about, I trust you. You can do it. Blah, blah, blah. You can, I trust you. I, I was like, fucking just heads whatever you tell me it is i believe you flip the coin anyway he decided to go on a virtual coin flipping thing it was heads i won i beat his ass it wasn't live either my point is yeah you want to get someone who you can just coin flip money with and trust the outcome and i trust ricky he just didn't think i trusted him that's why he was saying like oh, i'll show you live or oh, facetime fuck off bro just heads I won because I always win against Ricky. I can't say that. I can't say that I always win. But £80 or £100 on a coin flip and I won. So £100 from Ricky and it's his money so it tastes the best. I was even taking the piss of him and said, you haven't even sent me the postage yet. And, and then he sent me the postage. So I don't know, £3. Lovely stuff. Ricky is a XL and a, also a Spurs fan. And you lot kept saying to me, don't touch it, you're going to get your hands dirty. I get it all the time when I pick up football stuff. I am not a football person. I am immune to whatever germs, whatever team will give me. But that is a fantastic deal. I think Ricky's got a good deal as well. He's going to start collecting shirts. So if any of you lot get any Spurs shirts that are in good condition, message Ricky and he wants them. And he won't sell them on whatnot either. He's going to put them in his wardrobe or wherever. Rick, thanks again, bro. And unless I'm being thick and forgetting anything, that is all the sales for today. I did go charity shopping yesterday and I picked up a couple of cool little things, actually. So let's go and check that out. So as future Ricky or past Ricky... Wait, which one am I? Future or past? I'm in the past because the video is coming out. Future Ricky. Uh, yeah, the video's not done yet. So as future Ricky has said... Wait, is that though? Because you're here now. Whatever. As I just said previously, or you know, forget it. I went to a charity shop and I picked up a few bits that I didn't want to waste by not showing. Normally I would just crack this on, get it listed and move on. You'd never see it until it comes down to the sales. Bought some cool little things there. I don't want to show you them. Because obviously I don't film every last piece of my life, even though I am getting a video, averaging about a video a day at the minute, I'm still not filming every piece of my life. So let's show you some cool bits I've got. Let me get rid of this first because clothing's boring. <laughs> Ladies Rohan barricade jacket in a really nice green colour. Fantastic condition. It was still hanging up outside. I said, hey, let me have a look at that rail. See if I can't slim it down for you. She said, come on in. So I did. This had no price tag. I said, how much is it? And she had a look on her little computer. I'm guessing there was brands and prices next to it. It's a corporate charity shop. She said, £12. I said, sold. Should get about 25 to 30 quid back on that. When you see all the stuff that I brought, I'll piss you off, won't it? When, I see, when you see all the stuff that I brought, you'll see why I bought it. So 12 into 25, we'll be conservative. Woody, 
Now, I never know how to date these things. I never know what era it's from, what release it's from. If it helps any of you tell me, on the back it says Disney, Pixar, Thinkway Toys, and it says the same on the bottom, and that's it. I'll get all of that off. That Andy is not a legitimate Andy. That's a somebody's penned it on the Andy and Sophie. So I'll get rid of that. But it was four pounds twenty-five. There you go. It's got a big thick label on the inside, but I know it's worth more than four pounds twenty-five comfortably in this condition, which is immaculate, by the way. There's fifteen to twenty there, so I'm not worried about that. But obviously, if it's an earlier release, I'll get even more. So if there's anything on there that helps identify him before I get a chance to, please feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know about Widow. Disney Store exclusive plush, £4.25, we have Mufasa. I found a few characters that you don't normally see, that's why I picked them up. I don't think I've ever seen Mufasa in the wild, no pun intended. I pride myself on puns, no pun intended, but that wasn't intended. No, of course, I'm lying. Ah, get it? <laughs> what a roaring joke. Ah! <laughs> Ricky, you the main. <laughs> oh, just pause for a second. Stop now. Stop, stop, stop. I think there's about 25, 30 quid out of him, believe it or not, when I did my research. Oh. <laughs> Peter Pan, Nana plush. Even with the bonnet. Apparently having the bonnet makes it even more valuable. This, again, was £4.25. I've never seen this one out in the wild either. No more puns, all right? Again, I think this one was £25 to £30 as well. All I did was check eBay and press sold, and I got the greens, and that's what the prices were. So if they're wrong, don't blame me, but that's what they say. And then for £3.25, Rafiki. I've never seen them out in the wild, ever. I think this one was like £16 to £18. Which is great for £3.25 when you consider all the other things that I bought as well. Brilliant. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I'm so impressed at them. Like, what have I just sold? Hmm. Now this, I've got no idea what it is. It's anime. It's 50 pence. Japanese Tezuka Productions produced by Shin A Company. It's like a card holder, but I'm going to do a quick Google now. If you look, it's... um Like... Holographic, not holographic, what do they call that? Lenticular. Let's research it quickly. Tezuka Productions. Astro Boy. Oh yeah, of course it is. I can see it now. So it's Astro Boy. Top in wallet. Can't find the exact match. But I will do some more research into it. From what I think so far, I think it is Astro Boy. I can see him on there. I can see him on there. But it's smart, isn't it? Is there any money in there? No, I think they might put a tenner in there and troll you then, but I can't bother. And then finally, just because when the lad is a knob, sometimes we take his phone and just put it on the side. I think it'd be quite fun to stick it in a jail so he has to look at it. £1.75. I've lost money, but what I've lost in money, I should gain in a little bit of satisfaction. Right, there we go. Back to the past, future Ricky. Back to the, back to, back to the video. Mufasa. What a legend. What the fuck is he talking about? Does that Ricky know where he is? Does he know where his head's at? Has he got any idea? Future past, where are you? You was past, Ricky, mate. I am future, Ricky. Know your place. Understand where you're at. It's not that difficult. <laughs> I've just had a delivery. Could it be the hat for me? I've just had a delivery. Action man is sad. <laughs> Only a few of you will understand that reference. This was an absolute steal. This was five pounds plus postage and stuff. So it was about eight pounds. This is a bargain. Heck you know. Probably the best vintage packaging I've ever seen as well. Yeah, I didn't even see the back hit. Fucking stinks. Someone's, someone's cleared the loft out. All I saw in the picture was that. Look at that beauty. I don't know if it's legit or not. It's just a nice coloured nightcap. Sick. Sick. Fucking stinks though. I'm just editing that video down now and I've got no idea what plebage was going on then, to be honest. So with that, I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching. However, don't go anywhere. We're going to give away the Nintendo DS bundle. It comes with Sims 3, but as mentioned, it does work. Turns on, powers up, charges, all that good stuff. 
However, when you charge it, for some reason, you've got to kind of like push this left or right. It might just be a charger, which means you can change it, or it could be something in the port. But I don't know. A few scratches. Listen, it's a Nintendo DS and it's free. It's free. Do you want to win it? You want to have a shot? Like Lewis with the Pokemon cards and all the others. Lewis is the first person I can think of because I've only just done his. <laughs> I'm going to make it nice and easy for you. If you comment, you've got to say, remember, and then you can carry on. So the word is basically remember. You know the line I'm talking about? Remember who you are. Whatever. Drop a like before you go. Make sure you're subscribed and enter the competition down below in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully we can draw the winner then. My fuss is ass. Ta-da! <laughs>